Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Winter, and I'm just going to spend a couple minutes here talking about a few things a lot of new players ask all the time about StarCraft 2. These are subject to change probably in the near future from this video, but I just want to have a quick explanation. Bonus pool, matchmaking rating, and promotions, and how they work in StarCraft 2. We'll start with matchmaking rating, which is the hidden, uh, what's behind everything in promotions, in how you use your bonus pool, and in where you are placed and who you're playing against. Matchmaking rating is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hidden rating. Uh, it's a hidden rating. It's effectively a number <clears throat> that, when compared with other people, determines who you could potentially play against and what kind of reward or, uh, I guess, not reward you would get for winning or losing. Say, if I'm playing against someone who's rank 1 GM with a matchmaking rating hundreds of points higher than mine, I will get a lot of points. Usually the average is about 12. For those who don't know, 12 is even match. So if I, for example, beat Scarlet, I would probably get like 20, 23. 324 it goes up to I believe 25 points for beating them but say I lost to someone in the Diamond League which with a significantly lower matchmaking rating of five six hundred points less then I would lose that 20 21 22 points uh, now vice versa Scarlet would only get maybe two or three points for beating me being hundreds of points above me because both of us have uh, played a lot of games and really determined our matchmaking rating and the same goes for you if you're a Silver League player and you beat someone in bronze, maybe you're only going to get a few points in your MMR. Your matchmaking rating and your letter points will only go up a little bit. Um, but say you beat someone in gold, you're going to get a lot of benefit. Now this kind of ties into bonus pool. Bonus pool is the difference between you and effectively your matchmaking rating. Now that's not 100% accurate, but the best way to determine your matchmaking rating, uh, besides the opponents you play against, is to reduce your bonus pool to a low number. Now, bonus pool is accumulated over time. Uh, based on what league you're in as well. Masters and Grandmasters accumulate bonus pool at a higher rate than the other leagues. But on average, I believe it's one point every hour and a half or so for the lower leagues below Masters. Uh, so this bonus pool, you just continue to accumulate it. No matter how many games you're playing, uh, you're going to get that one bonus pool point every hour and a half or so. So when you come back and you haven't played for a few weeks, you have hundreds of bonus pool, what does that mean? That means, well, you've been inactive, but how does that help you? Uh, bonus pool, what bonus pool does is when you play a match, if you win that match, if you have enough bonus pool, you double the amounts of points you win. Say you play a match and you got five points, that'll become 10. Or you lose a match and you would have lost four points. That will actually negate your loss. It will take away from your bonus pool. Say you have 100, you lose a match that you would have lost four points. Well, now you lost zero, but you have 96 bonus pool left. So that bonus pool allows you to climb up to a rating uh, of points of people who have also spent their bonus pool and kind of maxed out their level for this time. Say right now at the higher levels, especially in Grandmaster, where you're not allowed to be inactive for very long, the way they determine this is if your bonus pool goes over 180, which means you haven't played a game for a week, uh, you're considered inactive and you drop out of Grandmaster. The other leagues, you will not get demoted uh, over the course of the season for not playing. Uh, it's just a determination of how long it's been since you played. It's made to get you back into the game uh, and make it a little bit easier and less intimidating to continue playing. Now, how this relates to matchmaking rating uh, is important because if you have a very high bonus pool, you are less likely to be promoted. This isn't necessarily true, though. Lower levels, it doesn't matter nearly as much. But the more you play, the more confident the system is uh, in your matchmaking rating. Say you're rank 3 or 4 in gold, uh, and you don't have very much bonus pool, and you're consistently playing platinum players, and you're evenly matched, that's how you're going to get promoted. Sometimes it takes 10, 20. If you played a lot of games this season, it might take 30, 40 games with a high win rate against platinum players to get promoted. But you will get promoted eventually. Uh, as it comes for the lower levels, if you're a newer player, you're going to find it easier to get promoted uh, because a new account doesn't have as rigid of an MMR that's harder to change, if that makes sense. Uh, but your promotions are determined by your matchmaking rating, not by your bonus pool uh, and not by your current points, but by your matchmaking rating. So no, the more bonus pool you have, the less likely the system is to be confident that you should be promoted. Uh, so really, the only way to get better and the only way to get promoted in any game is to play more and practice more. You can check out my other videos. Hopefully this explains most of uh, the basics of matchmaking in StarCraft 2 as it stands January of 2016. But thank you guys for watching. Good luck, have fun. Any questions, I will try my best to answer in the comments. I know this wasn't the most concise or 
best explanation, but I just want to get something out there because I, people ask this question so many times. Thank you guys again for watching. Good luck, have fun, have an amazing day.